When, if ever, is violence tolerable? Can violent means ever be directed to peaceful ends? Can we allow, through inaction, the violence of others to run rampant? Does that constitute its own form of violence? Is political violence necessarily terrorism? And for that matter, can violence ever be apolitical? I'd love to discuss these questions, but instead, we have to discuss whether or not it's okay to throw milkshakes at assholes. We can all go out for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. Frosty chocolate milkshakes. Milkshakes, what are they? A cold, sweet drink of milk mixed with ice cream, and sometimes chocolate or fruit or whatever, mixed until frothy. Nominally, a delicious treat that brings people to yards, but lately, the most potent weapon in the culture war. People who've been milked straight in the chops include noted assholes Carl Benjamin, the man who's such an opponent of political violence that he once attempted to soften the alt-right assassination of Heather Heyer by implying she died of a heart attack and, you know, not the car that hit her. Tommy Robinson, who sent Islamophobic campaign emails to the terrorist that drove his van into a group of Muslims at prayer in Finbury Park, killing one and injuring nine. And perhaps most cruelly of all, Nigel Farage, who has long struggled with his fear of milk. I think that, that, that given that some people feel very embarrassed by it, um, it isn't too difficult uh, to breastfeed a baby in a way that's not openly ostentatious. All of them have ended up wearing milkshakes like the little baby dipshits that they are. Farage was so shaken up by this experience that he refused to leave his trailer while campaigning in Rochester, Kent, because thugs armed with sweet, tasty milk were lying in wait to ambush him. And that's the type of courage that politicians should be showing. To defend your convictions by bravely refusing to face the public and risk milk getting on your clothes. Please note, this is the same man who claimed that in the event that Brexit didn't go according to his specific plans, he would, quote, don khaki, pick up a rifle, and head for the front lines. So absolutely somebody who is disgusted by the thought of political violence of any kind. And not at all just a tough-talking coward asshole. If I sound glib about this, um, I am. Let me just be real clear. It's not violent to throw a fucking milkshake. It's rude. It's potentially destructive to clothing, I guess. In the strictest definition, you could say it's violent against clothes, but nobody's getting hurt, and it isn't going to traumatize anybody or leave any lasting damage beyond maybe, like, a big dry cleaning bill. Is it illegal? Absolutely. You're going to get charged with assault. Is it unpleasant? Yeah, sure. I don't want to get milk all over my clothes. However, to suggest that this is somehow in the same class as a punch or a gunshot or an assassination is dishonest. To suggest that throwing a milkshake represents an escalation of political violence or the erosion of civil society is laughable. Especially when it comes from the type of people who routinely inspire mass shootings. When right-wing Neanderthals want to intimidate their opponents, they bring guns, they threaten to murder people, and sometimes they do murder people. They threaten to start a civil war. At best, at their most peaceful, the far right is advocating for policies that would result in real tangible harm to minorities, removal, erasure, withholding medical treatment. These ideas, if allowed to come to fruition, will kill people. And much more importantly, are already killing people. Which is why the right-wing, hand-wringing, crocodile tears about dairy-based projectiles disgusts me so much. The person who throws a milkshake at Tommy Robinson has not initiated violence. They have responded to the threat of violence that is implicit in Robinson's rhetoric by humiliating him rather than hurting him. To throw a milkshake at someone who is threatening people's lives, homes, and families is well below a proportionate response. It is, in fact, a de-escalation from the punching everybody was so mad about a couple years ago. And, also, the violence that these mooks are trying to create. To allow them to spread their rhetoric and potentially allow that to harm its intended targets represents its own form of violence. To suggest that using force, no matter how silly and non-harmful that force is, is automatically off the table on some sort of moral basis concedes a bias to one type of violence over another. A bias towards passive violence, or violence through inaction. When someone is fear-mongering about immigrants, or having a little laugh about how gosh darn funny it would be to sexually assault a woman, those things come with the inevitable and direct result of encouraging people to commit acts of violence. 
to create a climate where those acts of violence are deemed necessary, or at the very least, a cheeky little joke. Throwing a milkshake at somebody actually is a cheeky little joke. It doesn't encourage people to hurt anyone. It doesn't encourage anyone to do any acts of violence or escalation. It encourages people to laugh at somebody for getting the milkshake thrown at them. And boy howdy did it work. The far right now recoils from the sight of milkshakes like a vampire recoils from a crucifix. Uh, you throw a milkshake in his face. That's labor slash antifa's paid protesters. They've done that to Tommy and to other conservative candidates. Of course, here in the UK, the left also throws acid. Oh boy, Ezra. The paid Antifa protesters are throwing milkshakes. What's next? Acid? Don't forget, segments of the media endorse this. Now an elderly British army veteran has been assaulted with a milkshake. Still endorse it? Every Brexit supporter needs to celebrate on Sunday by drinking milkshakes and posting pictures of it. That's one, one triggered lib. Ah, ah, ah. They're throwing milkshakes at army veterans now. How can you have the moral high ground when you're throwing milkshakes at army veterans? Couple things though, uh, that guy is a war criminal who attempted to shoot an unarmed civilian during the Troubles, and also, he pretty clearly poured a little bit of milkshake on himself and pretended that somebody threw it at him. I mean, nobody saw the alleged milkshaking happen on the very public street, and also it's just like a little bit of milkshake on his tum-tum, and not all over his body like you'd expect it to be if someone Threw it at you? A local McDonald's even pulled milkshakes off the menu when Nigel Farage was scheduled to give a speech. Little fun fact about Nigel Farage, he believes that UK gun laws are too strict. So, everybody should be allowed to have a handgun, but you can't be trusted with a milkshake. You might hurt somebody. Burger King made a little joke about it, and the response was, um, a little bit overblown. Milkshakes today, bricks tomorrow. This article by former Farage advisor Rahim Kassam is simply incredible. Just mwah, tip to toe nonsense. I love it. Even the title, Corporate Backed Political Violence is Here. That's right, Burger King making a tweet about throwing milkshakes at people is the birth of corporate backed political violence. Not, say, Coca Cola funding death squads in Colombia or the many permanent wars being spearheaded by oil companies. No, it's it's the milkshake tweet that started it. Conservatives and nationalists have been remarkably mild-mannered over the past few years, considering what physical and rhetorical violence is being done to them routinely. From social media censorship to Russia hoaxes, to the physical attacks on Brexiteers and MAGA hat wearers, the right has more or less kept its collective cool throughout. Definitely. Aside from, you know, all of the mass shootings, that, that was a bit of an oopsie doodle. But milkshakes, though, what's the world coming to? Or later in the article where he describes himself as the target of political violence because he yelled at an old man trying to hang a sign, and then the old man hit him on the head with a ladder. And don't worry, he had the foresight to remain calm and realize that if he retaliated, that would be politically inconvenient for him. So instead, he talked to the police, and the police said to him, Hey, wh what are you going to do? You know, that happens sometimes. Sometimes people hit you with ladders. That's definitely a true story. That actually happened. The article ends with footage from a rock, egg, and brick throwing session from a group calling itself the Muslim Defense League against Tommy Robinson, which did happen and is definitely violent, although I think it's a bit of a stretch to draw the conclusion that the article does that they were inspired by the impunity given to milkshake throwers, given that most of the milkshake throwers were, you know, arrested, and one of them was badly beaten by Robinson's followers. I think we can safely say that Burger King didn't have a hand in this one. All of these assaults are mock assassinations, whether the perpetrators know it or not. Pies, milkshakes, glitter, etc. reveal unavoidable weaknesses in the security of their targets and advertise their vulnerability to the whole world. The result is worse than it appears. 
okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, basically, when you throw a milkshake at somebody, you're, you're showing how easy it is to get past their defenses, and you can just, you know, extrapolate from that that we're going to see a lot of assassinations from people who thought previously that it would be very difficult to sneak a milkshake into a political rally. I guess these hypothetical milkshake assassins missed when the pro-Brexit assassin murdered MP Joe Cox with a gun. Sam Harris advocates torture and has theorycrafted situations where it would be permissible to launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the Arab world. Quote, What will we do if an Islamist regime, which grows dewy-eyed at the mere mention of paradise, ever acquires long-range nuclear weaponry? If history is any guide, we will not be sure about where the offending warheads are, or what their state of readiness is, and so we will be unable to rely on targeted conventional weapons to destroy them. In such a situation, the only thing likely to ensure our survival may be a nuclear first strike of our own. Needless to say, that would be an unthinkable crime, as it would kill tens of millions of innocent civilians in a single day. But it may be the only course of action available to us, given what Islamists believe. Harris is arguing that if we have any reason to believe that a Muslim country obtains nukes, we ought to just preemptively bomb them, because they don't value their own lives enough to be deterred by the threat of mutually assured destruction. And it sucks, because of course millions of civilians are going to have to die, which is unthinkable. But let's just think about it for a second. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, actually, it's fine. But milkshakes, though, that's the dangerous escalation of violence. Don't call it self-defense. Where are these loony lefties getting the idea that the right is making threats against Muslims? What are they defending themselves against? This whole issue has been blown so far out of proportion. The same people who are constantly telling us that we should lighten up and accept that it's all just a joke when they talk about gassing Jews or wave around Photoshop Nazi flags are now pretending that they are scared for their lives because somebody threw milk at them. We are to accept that this represents a greater danger of violent escalation than the literal threats of violent escalation that they themselves routinely make. This is nothing. This is not worth taking seriously. They're so desperate to play the victim that they're trying to squeeze this much hysteria of having a milkshake thrown at them. Like it's the end of the fucking world. I don't have a lot of sympathy for the milkshake, not just because they're big time assholes, but also because it doesn't really seem like that much of a problem for them. Like when it happens, they laugh and smirk about it because it's nothing. It's making their clothes dirty. Who cares? They're just trying to milk this for all it's worth when they should just shake it off. But let's not cry over spilt milk because frankly, they're getting their just desserts. Hey everybody, thank you for watching my video about milkshakes for some reason. Please press the like button and subscribe, but if you've already done those things, good job. I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash thoughtslime. It lets me make YouTube videos for money. You can catch me every week at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time streaming. Right now I'm playing Stardew Valley. But you might be watching this video in the future when I'm playing a different game, like Stardew Valley 2. Tuesday, June 4th, I'm also going to be streaming with the Serfs. So there's going to be a link to their channel in the description. You might want to subscribe there if you want to catch me talking about Jordan Peterson with them. I look forward to a lot of people calling me a fascist because I don't think it's a big deal if far-right extremists get milk on their shirts.